Marina Jacobi's Protocol to Manifest Potency A Summary Please note that this video is not a substitute for watching the original Marina Jacobi webinar, Protocol to Manifest Potency, Season 4, Episode 9. First, you need to study or know Season 1, Episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4. Step 1. Make your blueprint. Imagine a new hologram. It can be anything you want. When you want to manifest something, you start thinking from your mind, you start projecting a frequency into the hologram, a new reality blueprint, which is a frequency of your imagination of whatever you want to be. That could be you want to get married, you want to have love, you want to have money. It doesn't matter what that is, okay? Once you project that, that is your first step of the blueprint hologram, whatever you imagine, whatever you want, make a scenario, make it like a movie in your mind and relax, be in a calm state, whatever you feel like. You can be in nature, you can be next to the waterfall, you can be in, at the beach, as long as it's quiet, you know, so you can focus on that. And from your mind, you start thinking by creating a reality, imagine it like a movie, whatever you wish to do. That is your first step that you need to do. Step two, include your heart. Add emotion or feeling to the hologram blueprint. The next step that you need to do is to include the heart. Okay. When you include the heart, I need you from the heart to start feeling and at the same time you start projecting while you're doing simultaneously thinking that imagery, whatever is in your hologram, I want you to start feeling at the same time those two, the image, you call the hologram, but at the same time, you're going to start putting emotion of a feeling into the imagery by knowing all that. That is the second step that you do. Step three, increase the emotion to the hologram blueprint. Increase the joy and or love. The third platform that you need to do while you, let me see if you see well, while you imagining all this stuff, again, we imagining, we put in a frequency, you continuing involving the heart from the heart, you put in the frequency from the heart at the same time and you add in a pulsation. But what you need to do here is to increase the vibration of the heart by projecting more and more and more and more, but you increasing the vibration through the frequency by feeling joy, love, emotion of so much potency. Step four, reach the summit of emotion. At the most potent moment, hold the image and emotion for at least one minute. The fourth part that you need to do while you continue doing this and you put in from the mind and the frequency from the heart on and on and on and now is increasing 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 so much this is really is vibrating in a very high potency frequency and you reach a summit of emotion and you're holding the imagery at the same time with a frequency those two together reach so much potency in a hologram and when you reach the summit that you know you can no longer can increase the feeling from the heart you're already there you vibrate you know that with the image that momentum that you have here at the moment you do that and you reach the summit you need to hold it that frequency of the potency of the heart that you constantly projecting and you reach the summit you need to hold the highest potency you're gonna hold and hold and hold. Try to do it like a minute or 30 seconds. Step five, drop the feeling and or frequency of your activated hologram. You immediately drop that frequency. 
the frequency that you end up projecting from your heart constantly with so much potency to the point now you can't hold it anymore you drop it literally you drop it to zero but what happened is you live in this part over here in an ether reality to completely hold the vibration of that frequency that you expanded now you end up activating ether structure within your hologram to vibrate in a such a frequency to the point that now is ready for manifestation step six take action daily to crystallize it into matter You need to continue with the motion by taking action in a daily basis by knowing that this already exists. And you just need to bring this into matter. But what if we say to bring that reality to matter? After that, when you start season 2, episode 13, go to season 3, episode 8, when for 9 days you're going to practice how with action, after you learn season 2, episode 13, you to keep doing an on and on and on basically the frequency of the action is on and on and on from the heart knowing that is there to take the action because the action will crystallize this matrix to become matter but how long is gonna take who is gonna do it who is gonna come into your reality you don't know because it's again infinite of probabilities